Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, .9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news of a big voter endorsement for Abenomics. But first, American consumer sentiment rose in December to a near eight-year high on improved prospects for jobs and wages and on lower petrol prices, a key survey released over the weekend showed. It was also at its highest reading since January 2007 and higher than many other recent polls. In Washington, the Senate completed congressional approval of a controversial 1.1 federal budget, which will now go to President Barack Obama for signature. In Japan, exit polls show Prime Minister Abe's ruling coalition is on track for a sweeping election win, more than 300 of the 475 seats contested, with the Premier claiming a mandate to continue his economic policies. But less than 40 million people cast their votes out of the 105 million registered. In China over the weekend, economists at the central bank said they expected growth there to be 7.4% this year, but only 7.1% in 2015. Other data showed that industrial output grew by just 7.2% in November. Benchmark US Treasury 10-year bond yields ended with a big-time slump on Friday in New York and now at 2.08%. The 1.5 New Zealand swap differential is at a seven-year low, the 2.10 similarly. They haven't been this low since the start of the GFC. Meanwhile, junk bond yields rose, something that may hurt Graham Hart's Reynolds empire. Later this week, on Thursday, the US Federal Reserve will meet and is now expected that they will end their two-year pledge to keep interest rates close to zero for a, quote, considerable time, unquote. Depending on the nature of their signals, this could have a major impact on world interest rate expectations. The oil price also dived on Friday and is now at $57.5 a barrel, and the Brent price is just on $61.50 a barrel. A bearish IEA report drove it down, and inability to limit output along with ending fuel subsidies in a number of countries were the main factors, they said. American oil drillers shut down the most rigs in almost two years on the low prices and growing competition from supplies abroad. In Peru, international negotiators reached a climate change deal over the weekend in which almost 200 countries agreed on a way to draw up plans for reducing carbon dioxide emissions after 2020. But some say the deal is almost meaningless. Climate change negotiations can kick the can more expertly than US congressional budgets negotiators. The gold price also fell and is now at $1,222 an ounce. Meanwhile, our currency fell as well, but only minorly. We start the week at 77.7 .7 US cents, 94.4 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 78.3. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.